If your iPhone has been feeling a little sluggish lately, for example, apps loading slowly, Safari acting weird, or things just not running as smoothly as they used to, there's a good chance that your cache is piling up in the background, where most people don't realize how much temporary data their iPhone stores over time, or how much faster things can feel once you clear it. In today's video, I'm going to show you the simplest, safest ways to clear your cache so that your iPhone can run cleaner, faster, and smoother. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph and in this channel, I teach you quick daily tech tips to make your life a little easier. The first way and main method is to clear the history and web browsing data on your Safari web browser app. To do this, tap on settings, scroll down and tap on apps, search for the Safari app and tap on it. Scroll down until you see clear history and website data. Select all history and tap on clear history. Next, if you have other web browsers installed on your app like Chrome or Firefox, you can do the similar steps as above to clear the history and web browsing data. Next, we have a method for clearing the cache for individual apps. Many apps do have a clear cache setting within the app, but in general, you can actually do it within the iPhone controls itself. Go to your settings, general, iPhone storage. Scroll down and you can see the list of installed apps on your iPhone. Tap on any app, let's say TikTok. As you can see, the app is divided into app size and documents and data. So documents and data are the essential information that you will need. Tap on offload app, which will delete the app but keep the documents and data. And thereafter, you can reinstall the app and you will see the file size taken by the TikTok app is much smaller. The last option you can consider is to enable the offload unused apps option here. So what happens is your iPhone will automatically offload unused apps when you are low on storage on your iPhone, but keeping the important documents and data safe. So if you ever need the app again, you can just simply reinstall it and all your previous data and information will still be inside the app once you successfully reinstall the app. There you go. If you found today's video useful, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more useful videos like this. Until the next video, I'm Steph, take care and bye-bye.